Hey guys, it's Bailey and welcome back to the channel for what is going to be the blush tag. You've probably seen this video around here a lot on YouTube, which is unsurprising given that that's how tags work, but I'm actually hopping on the bandwagon thanks to Courtney or Fira here on YouTube. Fira.net is her blog. You should absolutely go check out all of that down below or I will link to her uh, not top 10 blush. This is the blush tag blush tag video right here And then you can also check it out at the end of the video. I'll put like a tag It will be linked everywhere. Definitely go check her out. She does amazing in-depth reviews Swatches cool looks on her channel like she does it all tech reviews like she has Everything on her channel makes amazing videos writes amazing blog posts go check her stuff out But in the meantime, let's go ahead and get on with the blush tag first up is best packaging and this for me has to go to the balm in stain. I have four shades here. Swiss Dot, which is this beautiful peach. Toile, which is kind of a warmer pink as compared to Lace, which is kind of a hot, cooler pink. And Pinstripe, which is a beautiful mauvey purple. But I love these because you can pack them to go and because they have this sleeve, you they, the pack, the outside packaging doesn't get dirty like a lot of other packaging can, whether it's like a sleek metallic or a plastic that can get scratched or the NARS packaging with that like mattified black that just gets dirty all the time. doesn't matter. You have the sleeve so you can pack it away to go, but then slip it right back out and it doesn't bulk it up at all. It's still really nice and compact, easy to store, easy to pack, all that kind of stuff. And you get a ton of product, including a mirror in here. This is just hands down for being, you know, cardboard packaging, I feel Feel like is really underrated and kind of known as being cheaper or like flimsier hits the nail on the head every time with a balm prettiest color goes to a really underused blush in my collection it's from becca and it is one of their beach tint shimmer souffles this is in the shade papaya topaz so i think the way the way these you can kind of see here on the bottom it's a swirled shade so it's orange and gold so it ends up being this beautiful like goldy shimmer or uh, orangey shimmer highlight it really shears out nicely but can also be built it's an amazing summer shade but because of that and because it is so orange it rarely gets used in my collection but it's easily i think the most unique and gorgeous shade in my collection for most pigmented blush I, it's actually a coin toss i have two one is a cream and it is the nars multiple in cyan which is this amazing bold poppy shade and these are great because they're not just blushes they can actually multitask for all over use this is not necessarily a shade you want to multitask for all over use but some of their lighter or even um, I think they have what is it Laguna as a multiple that's good for contour but you can also use it to bronze on your eyes etc and then their lighter highlight shades are great for all over body highlighting things like that you can technically use this everywhere but because it is so bold um, it's it's really exceptionally great for the cheeks. Then I also in this category wanted to mention this guy Which is from the brand artisan color It's one of their baked blushes in the shade warm berry, which I actually picked up when Marsala was the color of the year I'm Sure, you can see why I wanted to offer this up not only as a powder alternative But as a more affordable alternative to the NARS multiple I just mentioned it's an amazing powder shadow It's less than five bucks. I think you can find it at Target Walmart, maybe not Walmart definitely a target um, but it's it's a great affordable pick for super super pigmented blush next category is best everyday blush and I have to say this changes for me literally almost every day or at least on a weekly slash bi-monthly basis because I tend to fall into my everyday blushes as they come into my collection like I'll find a blush that I absolutely love for everyday use because it's easy to throw on etc so I don't really have one and this kind of goes for another category that I'm going to talk about same kind of spiel but basically I don't have one perfect everyday blush I do have a blush that I have been wearing literally every day ever since I got it for the past couple weeks and it is this perfect well it's not called perfect peach it's actually called coral glow is the palette but it's from the Rimmel Kate uh, highlight sculpting kit I think it is it's this peach color it's absolutely beautiful and it coordinates super well with contour and highlight shade in this palette and so this has kind of been my go-to for everyday wear and this is generally the shade that I go to for everyday wear. The alternative, if it's not this kind of corally peach, is something like another new blush that I have, which is more of a softer rosy pink, like in the Maybelline Master Contour uh, or Sculpt, what is this called? <laughs> Face contour master contour face contour kit. Yes, it's it's a softer rosy pink like this Those are kind of my two depending on the eye look that I'm wearing I'll either go for a rosy pink or something more like a warmer uh, coral next up is party blush and this one I feel like is kind of cheating because it's only 
Um, I think it's only a true blush if you have very porcelain or fair skin tones. It's more so a highlighter on me. I could maybe get away with using it as blush if I have a really bold eye, but I'm using it anyway. It is a Makeup Geek's Honeymoon Blush, and it's just so stinking shimmery, borderline glittery that I really, I feel like I can only get away with wearing it on a night out sort of occasion. Totally up to you and what your everyday makeup preferences are, but this is definitely my night out sort of situation when it comes to blushes. Next up is the blush I regret purchasing, and this might come as a surprise to some, but it's the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush Palette. Not at all because the products are bad, which like the, what was it, the, whatever the eyeshadow palette was, it's not that they're bad at all, like that. I just find it's underused and for as, exp as expensive as it is, I really wanna love and use those blushes every day and this just doesn't didn't do it for me like I said the blushes are beautiful there is a variety in here I do find that on some days I can kind of fake a contour with this because it's kind of a cooler toned mauvey blush it's not really a good blush on me but I can kind of fake a contour by putting it lower and at the back of my cheekbones and then layering something like this over top but really if I'm gonna carry around and pack a palette um, or even reach for one to use every day it's gonna be one that has a distinct contour blush highlight or some kind of common where those things are distinct and this I find if I pack it or use it I always have to reach for something else whether it is another highlight or a contour shade or a bronzer shade and so I just I don't know and I just don't feel like I get as much good out of these shades as I should given how expensive it is so this will be popping up more so in this uh, video because it kind of fills a lot of those brackets as well. The next category is least used and there are a lot because I have a sizable collection. Uh, there are a lot of blushes that go unused so I kind of pick the blushes that I'm most sad about not kind of thinking to reach for on a daily basis and they are the Bare Minerals Ready blushes. These are awesome blushes. They're very pigmented, very smooth, amazing colors. I mean I do feel like they're very underrated as far as blushes go but because of that I just never think to reach for them on a daily basis. So these go unused a lot but now that it's been brought to my attention definitely gonna try reaching for them more often. So then the next one is most used slash would never let go of and I I don't have one. I'm kind of, I float around from blushes, I guess. Like I explained earlier, I kind of use the latest and greatest and then you know, once something new comes on that I'm testing and you know really wanting to use every day, I then start using it every day and so I kind of forget that's how I cycle through stuff and so as a result I really don't have a blush that I tend to go back to. It's either always something new or I'm comparing it to something else. I'm kind of boring. I don't have a favorite. For favorite blush brand, I have to go with Makeup Geek just because you get so much product for the price. I mean, look at the size of those pans, but you also get such a nice variety of shades. She really has them all, and so for that, winner in my book. Next up is Greatest Blush Discovery, and I have to say I didn't I don't have any strong feelings about this, so rather than finding a blush to kind of fit the category, um, I, I chose not to put it in there. Once again, super boring, but I figure probably better that than fit, trying to put something in a category that just didn't fit there. Next up is Most Practical, and this is definitely one of those that is just so affordable and such a perfect everyday color. It is the Wet n Wild blush in the shade Pearlescent Pink. It's so raved about here on YouTube. It's like a tried and true classic, so had to include this. Next is least practical, and I have to say I don't own one. Like I was really trying to comb through and see if there's one that I didn't, like explicitly didn't use because it just wasn't practical on a daily basis or a shade or something like that. And I don't really have one. I find that all shades can really be, at least of the blushes that I have, can be layered. So it's either very sheer or buildable. Um, I would say though, I recently watched one of Tati's uh, WTF videos and she had a blush that was petals. And I think you applied it using the petals or maybe it was with the brush. I can't remember, but that was one that I kept thinking, that's a cool idea, but I don't know how practical it would be for me on a daily basis. I think it'd be one of those that I never reach for because it's so beautiful to look at. And it's just one of those, it's more of a statement piece that can also be used as makeup. But because of that, I never use it as makeup. So that's what I would have to say. I'm glad I like reviewed it or used it vicariously through her. But um, yeah, I think that would probably be one that if I did have it, would not use it. Most expensive, like I said, this would be showing up here again in the video. It is my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush Palette. And the hard part with this particular category was like most expensive by weight. I wasn't sure. I don't think this would kind of count because you do get three decent sized blushes. 
but as far as product itself goes, this is easily the most expensive, which is, again, why I kind of ended up in my regrets, because for as much as it costs, I just don't get the kind of good out of it that I would hope to. And least expensive is from the brand City Color, and this is just one of a lot of blush products they make, but it's just one that, it, by weight, kind of, again, like the uh, Hourglass, by weight is probably easily the cheapest because you get not one, but six blushes in their blush palettes. This is the Shimmer Collection, and they have a few uh, different kind of shade ranges within, like, that have these kind of six pan blush palettes. So they're very nice pigmented. They are kind of smaller pans, but they still fit like an angled contour brush, if that's how you like to apply a fluffier powder powder brush might be a little bit hard, but if it's small, it will do the trick. And so it's just a really nice, if you want a variety, it's a nice, slim, sleek packaging. One of those that is cardboard, but surprisingly sturdy. It's magnetized, so it's going to stay closed if you want to throw it in your bag and take it with you. But yeah, in, in general, I feel like City Color is a really underrated brand. So definitely, if you're looking for an affordable blush palette, it's a good way to go. So that's it from me. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this blush tag video. Definitely don't forget to go check out Courtney's video linked here or in the section below. And I tag everyone. Let me know in the comments if you don't make videos. Answer all the questions in the comments. If you do make videos, tag me on Twitter or Instagram or wherever it is you like to share the fact that you make videos. Let me know. I would love to watch your favorites as well. So thank you guys once again for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye guys.